The beauty of Iowa is not hidden. In fact, much of it is labeled for all to find within the Iowa Department of Natural Resources state park system. Nearly 70 parks and forests scattered across the state are home to Iowa's natural ecology, geology, and outdoor wonder waiting to be explored. Those wonders are what pulled Ames artist and professor Nancy Thompson to a creek bed in Lacey Kiyosakwa State Park. And yet, it took Nancy practically her entire life to connect her love for creating art with the bounty of Iowa State Parks. I've lived in Iowa all my life, and until 10 years ago, I'd hardly ever been to any state parks. So it just kind of became a, a goal of mine was to you know, visit as many of the state parks as I could. Since 2010, Nancy has visited more than 25 state parks and putting pastel to canvas in each. So when they, when they started thinking about, when the DNR started thinking about what they were going to do for the 100-year anniversary, my name came up. <laughs> Before the 20 Artists, 20 Parks project started, or Nancy even stepped foot in Lacey Kiyosakwa State Park, she accidentally test piloted a similar project at Ledges State Park back in 2017, where she invited 20 artists to join her in depicting the popular Central Iowa State Park. Following that project's success, a collection of state offices pushed to take it statewide, and Nancy's peers welcomed the challenge. It was awesome that I had so many colleagues that wanted to participate too. That was exciting. For her setting in the Centennial Project, Nancy chose Lacey Kiyosakwa State Park, a site she had yet to visit, with eye-grabbing features both natural and historic. Using pastels, Nancy is creating a series of paintings of park treasures, including the beloved CCC Stone Bridges, Lacey Kiyos Campgrounds, and a triptych showcasing a Wesley Creek Earth Bridge, one of the park's deep wood settings. My goal is to try to finish this in one sitting, so, um, if I work on something that's too big, then I oftentimes will have to finish it in the studio. Let's see what that looks like from a distance. I can tell that this piece is getting close to being finished because I'm, I'm just kind of nitpicking at this point. Sometimes it's hard to know when, some, when one is finished. You just, sometimes you just have to walk away from them. A couple things that I want to do with this is I just kind of want to, I don't want to put a lot of detail down there, but I need to, um, I, I need to just, identify this area a little better. Nancy, who now teaches at Iowa State University's School of Design, did not start seriously learning how to paint until her early 20s while taking private lessons. From there, juggling her time as a full-time mom and squeezing in classes when she could, Nancy continued her education at Des Moines Area Community College as often as her art allowed. I would take as many classes as I could sell artwork. like. How much artwork I sold determined how many classes I could take. It took me a long time. It took me a long time to get through undergrad. <laughs> um, it took me about eight years. Throughout her formal education, Nancy fell in love with pastels, likening it to finger painting. Now, as an educator herself, Nancy has both the passion and skill to approach painting from a creative and technical mindset. I'm, really, I'm always really interested in this time of day. And, and in painting this time of day, the, the twilight hours where suddenly we, we lose the ability to see color and the camera always tricks us, right? It, it can't focus on all the things that the human eye can focus on at the same time, so. As obvious as it might sound, color is incredibly important in painting. And Iowa brings surprising challenges to creating representational art, specifically the color green. 
the one thing about um, working in Iowa state parks is that, you know, green, and green is hard to work with. It can be very difficult because, you know, is it warm? Is it cool? You know, what happens to the color when it's in shadow? Uh, all those kinds of things. And when you're out on location and you notice those kinds of things, you can bring it back into the studio. Because I want to differentiate the green in the background to the green in the foreground. It gives my painting visual depth. Now with the project complete, Nancy and her peers' work is set for public exhibition. Throughout 2020, all the works will be on tour for art lovers and outdoor enthusiasts to see in their pocket of the state. But even long after the year comes to a close and the centennial celebration is over, Iowa State Parks will be waiting for visitors to discover the inspiration for all this work. Except unlike the CCC bridges and park campgrounds, finding sites like Nancy's Earth Bridge Triptych will take a little more exploration. I don't think it's marked or anything. There's no signs that say that this is there. They're gonna have to find it. And it's not the easiest place to find. Or you could ask the park ranger. <laughs> at this point, he definitely knows where it's at. 